Welcome back to Final Combo. My name is Jaime Torres, also known as Bless One, and today's topic is gonna be record stores. Now there's two questions people always ask me whenever they find out that I collect vinyl, and that is, do they still make records? And are there still record stores around? And the answer to both of those questions, of course, is yes. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over some of the record stores that I like to go to uh, often. Uh, I live in Pomona which is in Southern California, and I'm central to Los Angeles, Orange County, the Alien Empire. So I go to a lot of those areas often because also I work in the Los Angeles, Hollywood area a lot, I work in construction. So uh, that's why these five, six record stores I'm gonna mention uh, are the record stores I go to a lot, and you guys should check them out if you never check them out. Also, uh, I would like you guys to comment record stores that you guys like to visit so that uh, I could check them out if I haven't been there before. and. Uh, just go ahead and tag them in the comment section. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mention the record store and then I'll show a couple of records that I've purchased at those stores. So the first store I wanna mention is Glass House Record Store. They're literally two miles away from me. So I go there a lot. Um, they have a big new arrival section, rock section, jazz section, funk, soul section, hip hop. Uh, they have a very nice wall where they find, you know, you find like rare records or hard to find records. Uh, so I'll be showing you two records I've gotten there before. One of them is this Stevie Wonder record, Down to Earth. Um, I was very happy when I found that there. I've been looking for this record for a long time. Hey Love is a song that I love a lot from Stevie Wonder. And another record I got there is Tom Brock. And this is a uh, promotional copy. Uh, many of you know this is a sample for uh, Jay-Z's, one of Jay-Z's tracks. So um, this was on the wall and I couldn't pass it up. I don't want to say how much I pay for these records, but uh, check out the Glass House record store. Uh, another record store I go to is called Zoinks, and they're also in Pomona around the block from the Glass House record store, which is, uh, I should say, they're on 2nd Street in between Gary and Main, and uh, Zoinks is located on Main in between 2nd and 3rd Street. Uh, one record I found that was pretty cool is this Prince Rakim record, which is, of course, the RZA. You guys might have watched that uh, Wu-Tang series on Hulu. And uh, RZA started as Prince Rakim, and this was the singer that he put out on Tommy Boy. And I found it there, I thought it was pretty cool just to have. Uh, another local record store I go to is called Rhino Records, and they're in Claremont, which is just down the street from us here in Pomona. And I've gone there, for, I've been going there for over 20 years. Uh, I found a lot of stuff there. They have the same thing, big new arrivals, uh, big rock section, jazz section. Uh, their walls also have a lot of uh, hard to find records. Um, here's a couple records I purchased there before. This Lou Donaldson record, Pretty Things. Uh, I've been looking for this for a long time. I'm the kind of guy that likes to go and dig for hours and find stuff that I've been looking for at the store. Uh, so I found this there. I was pretty excited about that. Another record I found at Rhino with this Big Boss soundtrack. Got a people sample on this uh, Bruce Lee Big Box soundtrack. Uh, so check out Rhino Records if you've never been there. Uh, now another record store I go to a lot is uh, the Record Jungle and they're Montebello. Uh, I found them because uh, I used to work a few blocks away from them. So I go there and I find three sounds. There's a cool sample on here from uh, Main Source. I have been looking for this record for a long time. And I always like finding records in the field. It's a little bit more satisfying for me, personally. Uh, Andy there is super cool. Check out the record jungle Montebello. Uh, another record I got there is this LP, Fantastic Damage. Um, dope album. First uh, LP solo album after Company Flow. Triple album. Uh, so this is something I found at the record jungle in Montebello and they are on Whittier Boulevard, uh, Garfield and Whittier. Uh, another record store I go to a lot of course is Amoeba Music and they're in Hollywood on Sunset. I'm actually working one block away from there so. Uh, this is a record I found there, the Mohawks, the Champ, Go classic break. Always glad to find stuff in the field. This is another cool one I have been looking for for a while. George Benson, Shape of Things to Come, a lot of dope samples on here. Diamond D is one big one. And uh, those are just a handful of record stores that I go to. Um, so if you guys are barely starting and you're looking for a place to buy records, 
Pavona, Claremont, Montebello, Hollywood. Those are some very good stores that I go to. There's many more that I'll be mentioning later in other videos, but right now those are just a handful of record stores that I go to a lot. I found a lot of records there, a lot of good records. Uh, they always have good bargain bins. If you're, you know, every every type of record you're trying to find. If you're trying to find stuff in bargain bins, 45s, those hard to find rare records, every price level is available at all these places. So please comment uh, maybe experiences you had at these record stores or record stores that you shop at that uh, you would like to see me go to or anybody who's watching these videos go to because they have a lot of good records. Um, comment, share, like. See you next time.